What's up beautiful Virgos? Welcome into the Gifted Hermit. I hope you're doing oh so well. If you're new to the channel, my name is Leela. I reside in London, UK and I'm also a Virgo. Shout out to my returning subs. I appreciate you. This is going to be a general love reading. The Empress card just decided to pop out and show itself there. Listen, Empress card signifies pregnancy, motherhood. It signifies glow up season. And it also signifies an unconditional love, grace, patience, compassion. All the things that I suppose you possess, Virgo. Who is it that's thinking about Virgo? Maybe a Taurus or a Virgo uh, or a Libra is thinking about you. Who's thinking about Virgo? Who is thinking about Virgo. To start off the reading, we have the Knight of Cups. This can signify a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It can signify somebody that very much is quite sensitive, wears their heart on their sleeve. It's a courting card, you know, dating, text messages, displays of affection. Who is currently thinking about Virgo? Five of Wands. It came out reverse, so I feel like there could be some... Okay, so there's two ways to see this. Whoever it is that's thinking about you could be someone that you had disagreements with. For others of you, this is someone that is trying to avoid conflict, okay? This person could be quite competitive in nature. Who is it that is thinking about Virgo? Maybe this person's got, like, a lot of character, a lot of passion. Who is currently thinking about Virgo? Eight of Wands, you may have met them online. They may be at some sort of a distance from you. I definitely pick up on love messages, phone calls, somebody that has quite a sensitive soul. Somebody that is, I think, got feelings for you, you know, trying to offer you something here. Perhaps an apology for some of you guys. You know, there may be someone here that's thinking about you that is thinking, I want to apologise to Virgo. For all the drama that I bring to the connection, mm -hmm. there is definitely um, a deep connection here. So I want to clarify, and then we'll move on to the next question. So let's clarify this five of wands with regards to the person that's thinking about Virgo. Six of wands, kind of. So we've got five, six, and eight. It kind of feels like. Um, like for some of you guys, perhaps this person really kind of put you on a pedestal, made you feel good. However, there were some underlying issues. For others of you guys, I think that this person really looks up to you. There's a lot of sexual chemistry or attraction, physical attraction towards you. It could be a Capricorn for some of you guys. Nine of Cups. You know what, Virgo? I think that. For those of you that have been intimate with this person, you really ticked all the boxes for them, especially sexually. I think this person, for others of you, is trying to manifest you, thinks about you a lot, you were their wish come true. But yeah, let me know what that five of wands is. Maybe things became quite toxic with the devil card there. Okay, but I, I definitely feel like there's a key, couple key words here, like possessive, um, physical attraction, toxic. This one, um, yeah, it, it does bring some sort of uncertainty. Who wants Virgo? The king of pentacles decided to jump out there. Could be a earth sign for some of you who currently wants you. It could be somebody that's quite stubborn in nature, somebody that has a business, um, very um, business orientated, somebody that's very community orientated, somebody that can be materialistic, somebody that likes to chase luxury, that likes good quality over quantity, I think. Who currently wants Virgo? The month of March 
or December may have sort of some significance there. You could have let this person go that wants you, okay? Seeing stuff from a different perspective. I feel like there's a lot of say lovey energy, you know, whatever will come will come. I feel like a lot of you guys are in good spirits, to be fair. Like especially emotionally, you're doing okay, you're quite stable. Who is it that wants Virgo? One more card, two wants Virgo. I saw the man of wands wanted to jump out there. Six of Pentacles. Whoever it is that wants you perhaps sees you as a very generous person somebody that likes to have a very positive mindset doesn't like to get into negative or deep energy shall we say i want to clarify this hanging man why is the hanging man here why is the hanging man here okay so <clears throat> Things can change in a reading in a split second with regards to who's it that wants to. For some of you guys, it could be a Sagittarius. I feel like um, it's almost like you've let go of this energy, okay? Return to sender. I feel like um, this person actually has begun to see that what they put out is what they get back. I feel like this person now is hurting. I feel like they very well are aware of what goes around comes around, you know. And I feel like there's a lot of reflective energy with regards to their behaviour and how things have turned out or are turning out. You know, um, Virgo's not here to break your heart, but if you break Virgo's heart, I'm sure, you know, divinely protected, they're going to get their karma, as with all energies and zodiac signs, you know, temperance card there, I feel like you were very patient with this person, I feel like you acted maturely, we do get Sagittarius energy coming up here, this person is doing some healing now, he truly loves Virgo. Page of Cups, a sensitive soul, someone that may be a little younger than you, a very intuitive person, someone that's kind, compassionate, someone that dreams about you, someone that understands you has a lot of empathy towards you and i think that's how you feel towards them one more card five of pentacles wanting to come out there they could be struggling with something who truly loves virgo who truly loves virgo a gemini or virgo could truly love you this person could have long hair facial hair they could be a bit of a wise soul. They could have some sort of talent, some sort of skill. Somebody that has a lot of potential here. Something to do with manifestation here as well. <clears throat> Why is the page of cups here? The strength card. So I'm picking up on somebody that's very sensitive on the inside and on the outside, very stern, very strong-willed, um, can be stubborn. It's like hard on the outside, soft on the inside. It could be a Leo for some of you guys. The month of August may have some sort of significance there. Why is the Page of Cups here? Page of Wands five of pentacles so this person could be struggling financially they could be feeling ostracized or left out maybe they feel like they're missing out on some fun here patience is needed or required at this present time for them why is the magician card here someone's trying to manifest you virgo This is a wise old soul for some of you guys. They don't have to be older. But I do pick up on the wise here. Somebody is trying to manifest you here. Someone sees you as very compassionate, very skilled. Five of Wands. 
to someone that you didn't get along with at times. There was a lot of disagreements, arguments, not seeing eye to eye. Why is it's competitive as well? Like someone's willing to fight for you, claim you or whatever. Why is the magician card here? Ace of Cups. So I feel like there's a, a new connection here or an old connection. Both want to start something with you or either or either of them want to start something with you. There's an overflowing of emotions here. Like It feels quite overwhelming. I feel like you really rustled some feathers, not intentionally, Virgo. Mm-hmm. What's coming towards Virgo in love? What's coming towards the Virgos in love? Ten of Wands. To me, that just feels like you have to put in the work. You know, you may have been struggling with your relationships, your connections. I feel like someone may have pissed you off, actually. Or you may get to a breaking point here. I see you being very direct about what you want. What's coming towards Virgo in love? Nine of Cups. Wishes coming true. I think if you are authentic, truthful, direct, you get exactly what you want with the Nine of Cups there. Why is the Nine of Cups here? If you're determined to do the healing, Virgo, if you're determined to get past the traumas and the rest of it, tap into your intuition. What did your intuition tell you? We've got cancer energy here. Why is the Nine of Cups here? The Emperor card. Aries energy. Queen of Swords again, I pick up on a duo, two people here that are very direct, very strong in character. And I feel like there's a lot of ideas, there's a lot of stuff that's not being spoken about actually, that you need to get off your chest, like maybe your expectations. what the other person wants out of this connection. If this person is genuine or not. About the future, about what the future holds, because I feel like you're very sincere about what you want. There's a need to be direct about your expectations and what it is that you want. Mm -hmm. Interesting, to be continued. Anyway, I do feel like there's a conversation that's going to come up, a very blunt conversation mm -hmm. between two fairly honest, wise people, spiritual people, you and somebody else. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Please remember you can book me for a personal, just get in touch, follow me on the socials, catch me for Life Tarot. As I always say, be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you and the gifted will catch you on the rebound. Take care, folks.